Hello everyone, this is Anthony with Diesel Laptops and today we're going to be using our Texa Construction and Off-Highway Diagnostic Tool to perform an EGR valve test and do some injector coating on a Bobcat E45 excavator. We'll start by selecting the Off-Highway module, selecting Construction and Special Vehicles, scrolling down until we find our Bobcat selection and then selecting the Excavator E-Series as well as the Bobcat Kubota selection for the engine. From this point we can make the diesel ejection selection and then the start button next to the Bosch ECU engine control unit module. Um, it will then prompt us to confirm and confirm again And we'll get a little bit of a loading screen here. And now we can confirm that we have the key on. And we will connect to the module from here. Now that we've connected to the module, we can scroll over to the live data selection and view our current EGR valve position. And then in order to begin the test, we will move to the activations tab and then we will scroll down until we find the EGR valve test and then click the start button in the bottom right. Now that we've accessed the test we will get a help box that appears in the top left corner. This will give you a brief description of the actual test and then the prerequisites required to begin the test. You can then close that out and then click on the confirm button in the bottom right to begin the test. Okay, from this point, you would want to select the Confirm button again, and then you should start to see the EGR valve position change. Um, it is also at this point, you would want to visually inspect the EGR valve to make sure it is opening and closing like it's supposed to. You would also uh, should hear an audible noise coming from the EGR valve during this test. Now, once the test is complete, you will get a notification in the bottom left that says EGR valve test operation done and you can press the confirm button to complete the test and then continue on with either more diagnostics or you can end your diagnostics here if you've located the problem. As for the ejector coating portion of the video you would want to use the same connection steps as you did for the EGR valve test and you will be brought to the fault screen again only this time instead of clicking the activations tab you would actually click the settings tab to the far right. And then once you make that selection, you would scroll down until you found the injector coating. It's important to note that uh, you, you want to select the injector coating and not the injector replacement as those are two different operations. Uh, but once you make the correct selection, you can then hit the start button in the bottom right to begin. At this point in the procedure, you will be prompted to choose between a 20 character and 40 character injector code length. The process for both is exactly the same, so in this case we will be using the 20 character length, and then we will click confirm, and confirm once again. Now you will select the number of the injector code that you would like to change, and then from that point you can begin typing in your injector code. Um, once you start typing, all of the old code will, sh will appear. You can just keep on typing until you uh, completely enter the new code. And then once that happens, you would click the Confirm button. And then from here, you would want to verify that your injector code is correct. And then if you needed to change another one, you could select the number of a different injector and change that code as well at this point. So. Once you've verified all the changes have been made, you'd like to you'd want to hit confirm. And then it'll ask you to save the changes and you will confirm once again. And then from that point, you'll be prompted letting you know the command was executed or complete. Um, and then you can go back into your injector coding just to verify that everything took and all your injector numbers match what you have. And once that happens, the process is complete. For more information on this product and others, you can give us a call at 888-983-1975 or visit us on our website, www.diesellaptops.com. Until next time.